guys this is Tina welcome back to my channel so I'm just here to do a really really quick and I do mean that today um <laughs> for um giving you a couple of ideas of what to do with your fabric printed pieces so you know obviously I did my tutorial on printing on the fabric so if you've tried doing this you know it doesn't have to be with my printables just with you know any images that you like um, I just thought we'd come on and kind of have a look at a couple of different ways to use your um, fabric pieces really. So I have obviously decorated the outside of the journal cover using my large collage um, sheet of fabric. So, you know, that's obviously straight away, you know, one um, possible use. Then obviously we used a piece of the fabric image. So just one of the kind of journaling cards we just cut it out and I just layered it onto some soft net and then some soft lace and kind of stitched around it so that was kind of another um, you know potential use I guess for the fabric pieces um, and then I thought we'd just kind of go over a couple of other kind of suggestions really so I took one of the small pieces there and again I just layered it onto some black lace there I did glue it on. In hindsight, I actually wish I hadn't because I think it would have um, stitched better. I mean, I don't know whether you can kind of see, but it's a little bit, um, I don't know what the word is, like ruckered, I guess, in, in a couple of places. So I actually wish that I hadn't glued it. But anyway, um, so that's kind of a little idea for, for pieces, really. And then what I thought you could just do is kind of just glue them in you know to a page so you know as just a decorative piece just on a page like that you know which I just think looks really pretty and obviously for me because mine is a little bit ruckered once I've glued that onto the page that will stop that problem because I will obviously kind of be able to glue it smoothed out so that's kind of one idea another little idea that I had um, was I made this little puffy kind of like a little pillow. Um, <laughs> I love how this turned out and hopefully you can kind of just see how it is. Um, but I mean, if not, then I guess I could do a tutorial on, on this, although I'm not sure how brilliant my tutorial would be. Um, so basically I took one of the small pieces, kind of the same sort of size as this, cut around it. I've inked up around these, by the way, um, because I cut slightly over the size of the actual piece. So I inked them up with the Distress Inks, just using Vintage Photo. And then what I've done with this one, I, put, <laughs> I placed the lace on it as I did with this one. So like that, I just glued it on to just hold it in place. And then I took some other fabric to put at the back. So literally kind of similar size piece to the front piece of fabric and then I've stitched it around three sides on my sewing machine and then I took some of that kind of cushion stuffing um, like what we used when we made our puffed yo-yo flowers and I just kind of popped that on the inside and then obviously stitched across the top so it's kind of sealed and it makes a little kind of um, you know like a pillow or a little cushion so really, really, really cute. And then what I thought, and I won't be able to now find a bowl pin. Uh, okay, right. What I thought was, and again, you know, you've got lots of different options with this because what you could have done was obviously when you closed it up, you could have stitched, you know, some lace there. to create a little kind of hangy kind of hook. You could have stitched a piece of ribbon there or something to kind of create a little kind of um, something to hang it by. You could obviously use your cropper dial and you could punch a little hole and set an eyelet in there to kind of have it as a little kind of hangy thing. Um, you know, I think you've got quite a lot of possibilities. Obviously I didn't do any of that and I just thought quickest and simplest was literally take a bulb pin And then just pop it onto your project somewhere. So, you know, for me, I just thought, 
I'm going to just pop it on here on the corner of the journal and just looks so 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 cute you know I just love how that looks and I just think something a little bit different to kind of have hanging off your journal um you know obviously people use their lovely tassels and things like that so it's a little bit like that you could obviously have it hung on this side if you prefer um you know for some reason that that outer edge was kind of calling me but of course you could kind of pin it attach it through this side like that I mean maybe that looks better to be honest um so you know for me I've created this with this journal in mind but you know you could obviously create these with any of your printables or printed pieces or you know whatever you wanted to kind of do and just use them as a little kind of piece hanging from your journals I just think really really cute so that's another little suggestion that's probably my favorite way that I've found to use the um, printed fabric pieces so far and then the final um, idea that I had was just kind of I love my um, hessian kind of if you watch my channel a lot you know you'll know that I really do love the hessian so I've just taken a little scrap of hessian here it's literally some that I've kind of painted up previously so I've got some painted and some kind of naked I just took kind of a little bit so it's got one edge which is painted one edge which isn't um, and then I've just popped on one of the printed fabric pieces and then just layered up a little bit of lace little flower and some of that gorgeous pearl trim and then again obviously you know I'm thinking could just kind of glue this onto a page as a little decorative piece you could use it as a little tuck spot you know to kind of tuck things in behind or you could obviously use this as a paper clip so you could attach a paper clip I don't think I've actually got one to hand I might have a tiny one so I mean obviously this is not great because this is a tiny one but you know you could kind of make a little paper clip out of that just kind of demonstrate like that you could make that into a little altered paper clip and kind of hook it on to your page so you know I think there's a few different options there sorry that was just a scrap obviously that I had um I quite like that actually funny enough as a little tuck spot I think that's quite different um but you know I think you've got quite a few little options there because you know I absolutely loved my fabric pieces but I must admit at first I did think oh I've got all these beautiful fabric pieces and now I'm not quite sure what I'm actually going to use them for. So I thought I would just come on and share a couple of suggestions with you guys. Um, I hope you like them I mean definitely without a doubt my favourite one is the little pillow um, and yeah I really hope that you guys like that as well so um just yeah really super cute and to be honest you could also kind of obviously pop some lavender or something in there you know you could spray it with some perfume um you know so your journal smells nice too so yeah I just thought I would come on and share some suggestions and ideas really of how to use your little fabric um printed pieces so hope that give you some or gave you some food for thought and I will see you all again in the next video thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon Thanks, Em. Bye.